I guess what I'm saying, ladies, is that like get your shit together when it comes to these kids. It's, ain't nothing more annoying to a guy who's quote unquote got his shit together than a woman who. Some issues camera wise. Glasses. Dirty as hell. Well, anyway, I feel like a lot of the kids they don't have any respect for um authority because of the moms. And it I mean it may be because of all the broken families or whatever, but it's no excuse why you should let your child be disrespectful to his teachers, to a guy he just freaking met or known for a long time. And especially if y'all have known each other for a long time, I think it's very, it's very irresponsible of you to raise a child that doesn't respect um, a guy that you're interested in, whether it be just a friend or any of that. And I've had women um, in the past to say that they don't feel like, you know, their son should say yes, sir, or their daughter should say yes, sir. Hell, if I have a fucking job, I gotta say yes, sir. Well, I mean, a lot of the times I say yes, sir. You know, some of the hardest motherfuckers in the military say yes, sir. Um, if you were working for the president, would you not say yes, sir? Well, maybe not this president, but then know how you feel about that. Um, I think the whole point is you can't have a healthy relationship between children and adults and then them transition into the world without them learning something while they're a child. And having respect for authority, whether that authority be police officer, so you don't get shot in the face, so you don't get shot in the face, uh, and um, a boss, um, elderly person, teacher, all that, in my opinion, commands respect, because that's how you get respect, you first give it. You don't wait for someone to give you respect, you... You give it, and then if they, now they uh, dishonor that respect exchange in some way, then yeah, of course, you can, you know, you ain't, you ain't got to respect someone who's giving you, but I guess what I'm saying, ladies, is that, like, get your shit together when it comes to these kids, it's, ain't nothing more annoying to a guy who's quote unquote got his shit together than a woman who lets a lets a child be disrespectful not only to her which is annoying as anyway but to me as a man I mean it's, it's like ridiculous like I don't let grown people whether it be a man a child dog goldfish nothing disrespect me and I'm not gonna let a 13 year old or damn 5 year old give me you know period especially in my house your house I don't where we are so it's not gonna be a relationship it, it, it can't be sustained you know that's not to mention and it, I mean it just seems like that's uh, understood but obviously it's not cause a lot of women don't feel like they they pretty much wanna be they want to be friends with their child. Like, you want to be a best friend with a fucking seven-year-old. Like, where's your mind at? Like, for real. Like, that's what you want. You want to be your your best friend is your. Even even older, I've seen it when a woman is like has a teenager and they're like best friends and all this other shit. That is cool if they're on point. You can be really close to your child if they're on pump but if they're out of line 
that friendship should go out the window like ASAP. Like ASAP. You get what I'm saying? Like it's ridiculous for a woman to allow keep looking at a side mirror, y'all. Sorry. For a woman to allow a child to get so far out of line that it that a dude just don't want to fuck with you. Don't want the drama. You know what I mean? Any man worth his salt is not going to deal with that. And if they do, they really don't give a fuck about your child. They really don't give a fuck about you, to be honest with you. Or they might give a fuck about you. Men, we have a way of separating like our emotions for different things. Like we can, we can literally separate how we feel like I can separate I don't know about everybody else but I damn sure can separate how I feel about you and how I feel about your child I could put you out with you and your child turns to a head later and I'm like well I mean it is what it is That's, I try to tell you me and you good but and in a way that might not work either to an extent, depending on how disrespectful they are, because if they're all the way gone, we're probably gonna it's probably gonna be dead because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have it in my house. But as long as they're giving me the respect and they're cussing you out, you know, it is what it is. You know, you know I'm kind of sounding psychotic. But you get what I'm saying, like just you should check your child, should not be friends with your child. It's like the sum of all this. Don't be friends with your child before your child gets their shit together. And I don't mean them getting their shit together. You get their shit together. If they're doing horrible in school, it should not be a best friend powwow. It should be some form of punishment. I don't know what, depending on what it is, I personally like to, like to spank that ass if they're little itty bitty. If they're big, they're getting the ass whooped. And a lot of people don't, you know, they this new age you know even the bible which i'm not like totally religious um and when i say totally i mean i got my own views on that type of thing but even the bible if you want to reference that says you sped a rod you sped a child basically meaning if you don't work there you're gonna you're sparing them the ability to have a a full meaningful life as a as as a citizen in this world you're going to turn them into so it's basically paraphrasing what that means and so tough love is pretty much the best love in that situation ladies y'all i mean y'all got to get y'all together because that will kill a relationship asap disrespectful child but anyway that's my rant um, really felt like getting that off my chest, so to speak. Um, I know everything I say is not going to be kosher. I really don't give a damn. Um, it's my opinion. My opinion is matter. Thank you for listening. Wave. And y'all have a great day. Tapped in. Lately, my life had a fast man, but it's ass plan. Fight for my life with the brass hands, and I still ball with a bad hand. Got an aerial point of view, but they'll never see the big picture through zoom lens. From the quicksand, make it push start, type of band's cool, but the tent plan. I'm back on my bending rules for the kicks. They quit to give them two cents. Put my circle tight like we glue hands. Like I don't believe.